An Obama-era deal is now under new scrutiny. It involves a 2010 deal approved by the Obama administration, allowing a Russian company to purchase a large part of the American uranium supply. Uranium, of course, key to the production of nuclear weapons. A bombshell report by The Hill this week says the administration knew of bribery and corruption uncovered by the FBI, but approved the deal anyway. And now lawmakers are demanding answers. Among those... Ron DeSantis of the House Oversight Committee joining us from Jacksonville. Nice to see you, sir. Appreciate it. Good uh, afternoon. As I understand what you told me, that the House Oversight Committee is beginning their investigation into this. What happens in the next week or so as you guys proceed? Well, I've been able to speak with the confidential informant that helped the FBI uncover this bribery scheme. I've spoken with his attorney, and this informant wants to tell his story, but he's currently under a non-disclosure agreement that was signed with the Eric Holder Justice Department. He came forward in 2016, was threatened with reprisal from the Loretta Lynch Justice Department. Clearly, it's in the interest, in the public's interest, that this individual be able to tell this story to Congress, because what you have, Leland, is we have the money that went to Bill Clinton for the speech, the half a million dollars, millions of dollars to the foundation from sources connected with Uranium One, and then you had the approval of the deal on the CFIUS board, which Hillary Clinton was a member of in 2010. So you do have the quid, you have the quo, this, in, this informant, I believe, would be able to link those two together because he was right at the heart of a lot, a lot of what was going on at the time. To what, to what end? Is this, are you, are you sort of, is you're connecting these dots? Are you looking towards another criminal investigation? Or are you just saying that you want the truth out there? To what end does this investigation go? Well, it could be criminal. I mean, this a lot of this happened 2009, 2010, so it would depend on were there acts committed within the statute of limitations. Most offenses under the federal uh, system are five years. Some of these may very well have longer statute of limitations. So I think that's definitely going to be an issue. But I think it's also an issue in terms of Congress doing oversight over the activities of some of these people. We talk so much about Russia, Leland. Let's look at the facts here. Who was the FBI director when all of this stuff was going on? Robert Mueller, who's now the special counsel. Who was the U.S. attorney in charge of copying plea deal, which many of us believe was a sweetheart deal, uh, with the main perpetrator here, Rod Rosenstein, who's the deputy attorney general. Obviously, Eric Holder was involved. So, Loretta so you, Lynch was involved. You feel like, so, are you saying you feel like this was an intentional cover-up because of this non-disclosure agreement? Do you think that Mueller and Rosenstein knew more than they let on to? Connect these dots because so far there's a lot of smoke here. Well, that's what we need to figure out. I mean, here's what we do know, Leland. None, this, everything the confidential informant was giving to the authorities, none of that was produced to Congress or to the CFIUS board before the Uranium One deal was approved. I don't know why that was the case, but it's very odd that that was the case because clearly this was an individual who was knee deep in uncovering a massive racketeering scheme involving this deal. G so give, the question give us is, more. Is you, you, you had an opportunity, you said, to talk to this informant and to their lawyer. Tell us what they told you happened and what you think then didn't happen uh, that should have. Well, I spoke with the attorney, and obviously there's a lot of things that uh, I think the individual wants to be able to provide that he's just not doing now because of but, but, what but, the but, Justice but, Department but what? said. But what? What is it that he wants to provide? So what he will be able to provide, I believe, just reading between the lines, is that he was involved with these Russian agents, and the Russian agents from very be the very beginning were interested in the Clintons and really believed that the Clintons would be their pathway to doing this deal. And obviously, there was a lot of money that exchanged hands um, in the intervening time period. So this is somebody who was involved with these people, I think, would be able to testify both of what they said and then what they did. And you'll notice, like in the Robert Menendez, the Senator Menendez bribery scandal right now, you have a quid, you have a quo. You don't necessarily have anyone filling in the details there. He still may get convicted. We'll see. But this one, I think, you would have this confidential informant would provide some really significant information. And so, but I'm also one, let's let the chips fall where they may. I mean, you know, if, if there was somehow a re reasonable explanation for this, fine, let the American people see that. Uh, but I think it's very odd that none of this would have come out 
prior to the approval of that deal in 2010. This was critical information that those CFIUS board members, including Secretary Clinton, needed to have before approving this deal. Well, and, and I guess one of the questions you want to answer in, in, in this is why wasn't that information provided and if, if the information was known to people who should have provided but it brings up an important question of the House Oversight Committee so many Republicans on the committee uh, and this reporting coming from Chad Pergram who's a, a well sourced and great uh, producer up on Capitol Hill for us says that there's a lot of frustration on the committee they don't really have a lot of faith in the chairman they feel like things aren't getting done there's a lot of times that folks come out and issue statements just the way you have and then not much happens what's the promise on the follow through here. Well, well, one, I've spoken with Chairman Gowdy. He believes this is an important issue, and he's indicated to me that he's supportive of what we're doing. So I think that you are going to see action. You're right, though. Uh, last Congress, uh, we in the Oversight Committee wanted to investigate the foundation and all the other uh, payments involving the Clintons, and we were not allowed to do that by the leadership in the House for whatever reason. Well, now I think that this information is so explosive that there's no way you can justify mm. not getting all the information on this. Remember, we have three Russia right. investigations about Trump in Russia. There's not been any evidence of collusion. Here, there's a lot of evidence, and this stuff needs to be vetted thoroughly. All right. Well, uh, Congressman, we appreciate you coming on on a Sunday. Uh, and as this continues, uh, come back and tell us about it, sir.